This is the Volano Pulse, women's electric bike, uh, as it's described on Amazon. I bought this uh, just to see what the experience was like, you know, getting the box and building it, assembling it and everything. I was really surprised because it's been less than a month since I've received this and am now kind of getting to it and um, receiving some of the other bikes. And they don't, it's not available on Amazon anymore. So it might be available elsewhere, but I was just kind of bummed, like in terms of warranty and, and ongoing future support, it, it just surprised me. Um, the shipping weight on this was 61 pounds, which was a lot less. I was looking at another one by Watseka. That one had a sealed lead acid sort of absorbent glass mat battery, whereas this one has a lithium ion. They say Samsung sells. I'm gonna be get, getting more and more into the details of this, and I've got some help today from my friend Darlington. How's it going, buddy? It is going. <laughs> Doing well. Uh, <laughs> we've been working on these together, building them up, and he, he's gonna go riding with his girlfriend and just enjoy these out and about and give us some feedback on like how they actually hold up, what it's like to do this. They aren't really familiar with electric bikes, so I think it's gonna be a good chance to, to get some sort of unbiased, direct feedback. There's Ria, my girlfriend, and we're testing out the electric bike. And as you can see, she's going up that hill. It's pretty effortless. <laughs> and she's just spinning. <laughs> okay, so we're getting ready for taking all the zip ties off and everything. Be real careful when you're, when you're opening this. We were real gentle when we laid it down so we don't bend anything. And they've got these nice cap covers here for the axles so they don't punch through the box. The first thing we're gonna do is, you know, get that battery off and then put it over there and charge it so that uh, Darlington has some juice to ride home tonight. So, I mean, it only took us maybe like 10 minutes to get all the wrap off, put it up in the stand, and, you know, it doesn't look like there are too many, too many parts to, to put on before we're done. Another sort of generic, I don't see any labeling on this, and the description online said 250 watts, so pretty weak um, compared to a lot of the, the electric bikes you'll find in stores. They're mostly like 350 watts geared internally geared means it's smaller it's a little bit zippier maybe not quite as durable as gearless but just a lot lighter um, looking at the rest of this bike we've got some linear pull brakes here sparkle is what that says it's kind of cool uh whooshing levers with motor inhibitors that's kind of nice and then we've got the grip shift up here revo shift seven speeds we've got seven speeds a semi-ergonomic grip that's kind of a half over there and a full on this side. Really, really nice. This is, you know, I'm impressed. There's some decent stuff here. Adjustable angle stem, a little power meter. So it's kind of like on, off, and then you've got eco and then three levels of assist along with four dots for power indication. I like that the wire is internally routed right there. And just the nice white frame step through. Looks like we've got some mode components cranks going on. More linear pull brakes up front. I wonder if these are probably sparkle as well. Yep, sparkle. <laughs> awesome. So this bike doesn't have suspension. Um, you know, it's just got a rigid fork. They said the, the frame is aluminum. I'm going to take a magnet to it. It sounds like this might be steel back here. I love that it has fenders. There's the other wheel over there getting ready to put that on. A rack, really sturdy. This is a pretty, you know, beefy rack. It's bolt on, so you can kind of tighten it and adjust it, but it's already on kind of correct. Let's see if the rear light works. Pull the tab out. Pre oh yeah, we've got lights. Remember the other one, it, it didn't, the Watseka, the batteries were corroded. So I don't know if it had been sitting around for a long time or maybe in a warehouse that was musty or something. There's the key and it kind of turns it on and off. The controller is probably built into there. So this is a rear heavy bike with the motor and the battery in the back, but at least you can use the rack for panniers and stuff. And this looks a little bit larger than standard gauge. It'd probably still work with a lot of panniers. And I'm trying to read this maximum load capacity. I think it says 25 kilograms. So you, you might not want to put too much more in addition to the battery pack that's already there. 27.2 millimeter seat posts we were talking about before, but it's really short. I don't know if that's like 200 millimeters. And the saddle 
it looks comfortable, but it's more active. So at least you got the ergo grips, but again, no suspension fork. So it's nice that the, the stem is adjustable and you can kind of dial that in, in terms of fit. And then it's just a step through. We talked about seven speeds a minute ago. If we come to the other side, Shimano Tourney, you just see this on all the more affordably priced e-bikes. It's the entry level, kind of the cheapest uh, quality component there. But you know, it seems like it gets the job done. Seven speeds is enough to get around town, certainly. Nice chain cover. And this one's not scraping. So again, on the Watseka, it, it was kind of ting, 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 ting. It was kind of uh, bent out of place. And that might just have been due to the weight of, of the thing. And look at this. It looks like it has a 12 magnet cadence sensor. Nice. I wasn't sure if they'd have that many. So this should be very responsive uh, when we get out there. And cadence sensor means you don't have to push, especially hard. You just have to be moving. So even if you start really slow, if you're moving those cranks forward, it'll, it'll activate. Very cool. And a kickstand but no bottle cage uh <laughs> okay so we're on to the last few steps here uh, just getting ready to put on the front wheel and the fender and stuff it's actually got it together pretty easily what do you think is this easier than the last one this i feel like there was less parts yeah um, parts going on right so these tires um are 26 by 1.75 they're kenda they seem kind of generic but there was a there was an indicator on it that said like it's kind of an arrow it's like this way forward but a lot of times I'll just match the treads. So kind of got the, the brakes here are open. Neither wheel has quick release. It's just sort of a standard um, nut. But they do have these little torque arms that go into those holes to keep the, the wheel kind of straight. Just enough. It's looking really good. It's rolling really smooth. You get up here to the linear pull brake, Sparkle. And let's see, just pull this across. Get the little rubber thing out of the way. You know, a little bit of fooling around. It's, it's getting late and Darlington has to go. It's getting dark out. There we go, now try. Oh yeah! There we go. So I gotta inflate the tires and stuff. Uh, now the fender. See, the, the other thing is I didn't see like a, a bolt for the fender right there. And then, and then this light can go like this. But we need like the piece. Thankfully the light works. <laughs> Do you remember seeing any other nuts and long bolts? Okay. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Before we can do that, we need to tighten down the, the line and tighten down the stem. This one's cool because it has adjustable angle. It's just a mm. quill stem, so we stuffed it in there earlier. And we could raise a little bit if we wanted to give you a little bit more comfort, kind of upright. You don't want to raise it too high. They kind of have like a minimum depth thing. So we're tightening this and inside there's like these pieces that kind of slide next to each other and creating friction. I'm going to tighten it pretty well so you don't end up losing control of the steering. Haha, -ha, when one tool isn't enough. <laughs> This is going to be tight, though. Firmly secured is right. I don't even know. The thing about these is you really do need to tighten them because if you don't, then you're riding, you go off curbs, they'll get bumped up out of position. Yeah, so. So this side's completely loose now. Well, what started as an incredibly fast build turned into a bit of a chore when we couldn't find the bolt. Uh, neither of us saw it. We went through all the packaging and everything, and, and that's what holds the fender and the light. So, duct tape to the rescue. <laughs> it's not It's not perfect, but it's probably enough to get Darlington home, <laughs> and then tomorrow you might go to Ace Hardware or something. Right, just trying to find a bolt. Hopefully it looks pretty... Yep. Common. It's good good enough for now. We just have right. to be careful. And the light does work. I'm not going to blind you right now. But And then the other thing was up here with the stem. It's supposed to be adjustable angle. And, you know, it says it's been very firmly tightened. I got my two Allen wrenches. I really cranked on it. I got one of the bolts out. <laughs> but, I mean, you'd need a hammer or something. It's just it's really, really tight. No time for that. It's getting dark. Uh, weighed the battery earlier. Nine and a half pounds. So that's pretty cool. And again, it's 36 volt, 13 amp hour. So above average, this 
you know, again, I'm generally pretty impressed with, with this bike. And, um, you know, it wasn't too difficult to install, got the pedals on. I think we've been through just about everything. I'm gonna weigh it and then send Darlington on his way shortly. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Darlington and I are pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but it's basically done. Uh, the battery is on there. It's seated. It slides in, which is, which is really nice. There's just the key down here. You do not have to leave the key in while riding. Pins are all straight on this bike. The battery has a nice rubber cover right there and even a little power indicator so you can tell how full it is when it's not uh, seated on the bike. So we do that, turn the key, take the key out. I'm going to leave it in just for fun so I don't forget it or lose it. It did come with four keys <laughs> so that's kind of nice and the charger that we were using earlier you know it, we got it to four out of five battery ticks the things like only at 1.3 pounds so real convenient to put in a backpack or whatever we just weighed the bike it was like 50.2 pounds okay and if you remember back it was like 60 pounds when it was in the box so we we're like man is it cardboard zip ties and styrofoam we wait we double checked 50 pounds Price. For this bike, yeah. I mean, <laughs> pretty pretty impressive what you get here. It seems like a pretty good value with the fenders, with everything. You know, it feels like all the bikes that have been building lately, there's always something that's missing or something that's a little bit trickier. This is probably what the bike shops deal with uh, when they get bikes. And a lot of this stuff's coming from China or somewhere. And, mm -hmm. you know, stuff happens. But all in all, pretty impressed, pretty excited about it. So the battery is seated. We come up here. Seems like there's only one switch. You press this little power button and it's like, doot, 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 hello. And it tells you how full it is. So they're saying four out of four bars. But remember on the battery, it only said four out of five. So maybe this is more precise. And then you just use the plus and minus buttons here to go from down eco, which is gonna be the least assist, all the way up to three, which is gonna be the most. It's gonna give you the most boost. You just pedal. There's no throttle on this thing. You just pedal and it's got that 12 magnet cadence sensor. I mean. It should just work. In fact, do you want to turn the cranks, Darlington? Like, see if it activates? Oh yeah, that was very instant. You can hear it. And there's the brake test. Oh, it's pretty fast. Are you excited about? Yes, I am. Because um, yesterday you rode the other one. It had a throttle, <laughs> but it was so much heavier. Very bulky. It took me a while to get it up, up two flight of stairs. Yeah, lifting. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Um, I took my time, you know. Safe. So yeah. I suppose I was there with the other one. If you don't have a garage to just roll it into, yeah, I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> wouldn't want to do that one, <laughs> yeah. especially because we didn't want to take the battery off because it was bending the pins. At least on this one, the battery is real easy to take off, and it's nine and a half pounds instead of twenty-three and a half pounds. So, um, you know, decent job, Volano. There are other electric bikes out there at similar price range that dealers carry and stuff, but you're not always near a dealer. Uh, you know, maybe Volano is still going to sell this and maybe they're just temporary out of stock. I really don't know. Chime in if you have this bike, um, if you have any feedback about where you can get it. I, I usually order off of Amazon because you get um, free shipping if you're prime and there's like an intermediary to help you deal with issues if it comes and it's like broken or something, which isn't necessarily the bike company's fault. I do see some bends in the front fender. They're both steel and you can see some, you know, that just happens in shipping. We really haven't done like a perfect job tuning up the brakes or anything. So ride safe, buddy. <laughs> Did you not bring a helmet again? again. Dude, you blend in with I... the night. There's no helmet. At least we've got, you know, the lights. <laughs> this That's a pretty intense light up here. It's only a 20 minute ride. So... It's only a 20 minute ride. Yeah, well, okay. Well, let's, <laughs> we'll do it, man. Have a safe journey. Okay, so Darlington and his girlfriend survived and they've been <laughs> riding the bikes around uh, quite a bit like what tell me about your experience darlington um yeah i've been riding it very, very long distances um five seven eight miles trips one way wow um, so Do you ever run out of battery or like get really low um well for for example the last 48 hours i've been riding it and i actually forgot to charge it <laughs> oh. um, but i haven't ran out um on the 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 battery has five bars for power level, but the bike reader actually only has four. Right. So the bike reader is down to three, um, and yesterday the battery was down to four, and I haven't checked the battery to see what yeah. it is. So now, you're but. using the Milano most frequently? Is that the one? Right. With the, just because it's lighter and stuff? Or? It's lighter. It doesn't rattle, though. But oh. a lot of times when you go over like little random bumps and stuff, it 
rattles as if the bike was about to fall apart. Okay. <laughs> but the very few, the first day my girlfriend and I rode it, she will always, that always thought of her. Mm. <laughs> so I actually had to ride in front of her because that would freak her out. She would think I crashed basically each time we go over like a little thing. So go, dun, 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 dun. She's pretty vocal. <laughs> <laughs> so. so the only other thing was the Milano, when riding it for a couple of days, you definitely would probably plan on getting out of a new seat. Mm. Or something to put on top because it's very uncomfortable. Pretty firm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially if you bounce. Even a little, yes, the tiniest of bed is very, very uncomfortable. Mm. My girlfriend had a, her crouch was sore oh, from that, that that's one no day. Fun. She still wants to do it again, but it's also like that sore. So are you guys con- convinced? Like, you feel like, yeah, electric bikes are a good thing? Or is it like, I don't know if it's worth it? Because you have stairs where you live and they're heavy. So has it been a big inconvenience? Um, that's probably why I haven't ridden uh, what's Saka just because it's so heavy to co- go up and down that stairs. Oh. The Milano is very, it's not that bad. It's not any, it's not much heavier than our other bikes. Um, so I personally will definitely go and like go out and get an, an e-bike now. My girlfriend is very attached to her pretty oh, yeah. uh, cruiser. <laughs> cruiser. Yeah. So she would probably more obtain for a kid. Mm-hmm. If she didn't have to worry about installing it. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that when we do something <laughs> in the future. Yeah, but yeah. So, well, so I actually everywhere I've 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 had a lot of people test it. I've been surprised that people don't know about e-bikes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I will have someone test it out, and they will their mind first of all will be blown. They'll be like, "Whoa, it's like a jet ski!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> jet ski. Like a rocket. <laughs> I know. And then they will have like really um ignorant questions about what it is like how does it work hmm. like what is this kind of crazy like, science is this? this hocus is, pocus is this a new prototype <laughs> like, no electricbikereview.com nice <laughs> thank you thank you very much so there's just a lot of education out there about e-bikes so i guess i'm glad i'm part of the site and that's right. And there is that resource for people. <laughs> I appreciate that. So Darlington does helps with like programming and keeping things going on the site as well. We've been working together for I don't know how many how long now. Three? Two, three years. Two or three years. Yeah. Kind of since the early days, like getting some help <laughs> with, with back end stuff and once we took it to a larger content management platform. Well, I guess it's the same one. But it's the same one, but very, very CDN. heavy customization. Yeah. Uh, we replaced a couple of the core functions of the CMS. Um, but yeah, so. Hopefully you guys like it. <laughs> we'll see you back at the site for that stuff. Thank you again, Darlington. Yeah, it's been fun. So this is Rhea. She's testing at the Milana. We just came from um, gardening um, about three, four miles away from where we live. And she's just having a blast. <laughs> the bike is light. It's not as quiet. And since, <laughs> and since we just set it up ourselves, we might have not have we might not have tightened all the nuts and bolts as it would have been if it was set up at a shop. Um, but it seems to be working pretty well. It's it's holding up. Sometimes the the handlebar and steering, what you may call it, looks a little crooked. <laughs> and I've had to adjust it once already. <laughs> but otherwise, it's doing well. <laughs> there she goes, sipping away. It is very windy. On a regular bike, it would be a challenge going against the wind, but with the e-bikes, um, it's pretty effortless. So you brought the bike back. This is the Volano. Looks like you fixed the front fender there. You got a bolt? Right, I went into the you know, hardware um, and I got in a bolt. And then the guy helped me pick the, what they call locking bolt. Okay. That I, um, so, so that should keep undone. it from coming undone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this one you were saying was quieter and just mm-hmm. a little bit more convenient because it's lightweight. Right. You, you like that the battery was easy to kind of slide out. Right. Just kind of carry up the stairs. How many miles do you think you've ridden total? Just, you know, kind of guess. 
20, 30, and then 20, okay. 50. And then here today, probably 60. 60 miles. <laughs> I mean, it feels pretty. There's a little bit of looseness happening up here and kind of the, the headset. Maybe the, just a little bit. I feel a little bit of shake. It's not nothing you know, too serious. These were the handlebars that we weren't able to adjust up and down. Have they felt pretty comfortable for you? For me, yes. Okay. Because um, you're pretty tall. You're right, sort of like 5'6", five, 5'7". Right. Five, I'm going to just hop on this thing, take it around the block, and uh, you know, we'll finish it up. Thanks again for your help testing. Absolutely. Anytime. <laughs> okay. So we're pedaling. Whoa, boy. Yeah. That's what Darlington was just saying, that it's, it kind of like comes on a little bit strong. And I'm in level one, so if I go up to level three, that's the most powerful. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit surprising. A little bit of a delay too in, in pedal assist. And I can, I mean, it's flexy. I can feel the frame flexing just pulling on it with my hand like that. And then having so much weight in the rear, you get a little bit of crack the whip feel uh, when you turn, even when you might've seen that a second ago when I was kind of dragging the bike down the driveway, um, it kind of like tips backwards and the front tire loses some traction. That's when you're not on it, just kind of like steering it around. Um, all in all, for the price, I feel like you get what you pay for with this thing. It is zippy. It's pedal assist only, but and I'm not having to push real hard. I like having the gears. It's just a little bit squirrely up front. You can see it jittering. You see that? Oh man, speed wobble. So if you weren't holding those bars and you were going fast, uh, you might you might run into a little bit of an, an issue that way. Be careful. Again, no speedometer or anything. I'm not sure exactly how fast we're going, but it seems like we're getting up to 20 pretty nicely. I might shift the gears here a little bit. Do those brakes. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Working all right. Yeah, I've been riding it in the highest gear here the whole time, seven. Um, that feels like a natural cadence to me. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. You know, it's, it's still fun. If you'd never ridden an e-bike and you got on this, you'd probably be like, wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, some little things to overcome but uh, not bad. You're like reorganizing the whole room. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think we're, we're at the end of a great adventure here. This, was, this is the first electric bikes for you, right? Yeah, first time. First time? Yeah, I've been riding them most days. I've been riding just about every day and whenever we go out. Yeah, we've been going out on it. It makes it so much easier. I get tired so fast. And, and it's hot right it's hot. now, it's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. But it's also you're getting outside, so. Yeah, yeah. So using the car a little bit less, like kind of naturally. A lot less. Easier to park and stuff. I realize That's I'm leading you here. Right? No, no. Easy to park and even like riding it to like work and business trips. Like you're not sweating when you get there, which is nice. <laughs> well, and I heard you, you were really defending the other bike, like the Watseka, the one that's, it's 78 pounds or something. It like is it. horribly heavy. But you were also saying, like, if you had a garage and you right. just, you know, it still works. Right, yeah, so, so it so works. I would definitely, especially if you buy it on Amazon, I would definitely have it assembled professionally. Mm -hmm. And then roll it in the garage and do not dream about taking it up any stairs. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nightmare. <laughs> that's not a dream. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> And if that's the that's is that if that's your use case, it's it's perfect, great price. Also great for a bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like everyone's like e-bikes are cheating. Not if you live upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and I, I'm so surprised. One thing I have not heard you guys talk about at all is like, oh, the Volano doesn't have a throttle. Like, did you care? Do you miss the throttle? No. I've she never got to try to. She never got. She to never let her try, Darlington. Oh, it's just so bulky. Shame. It's such a heavy bike. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is. It's a little bit unwieldy sometimes. Okay. Well, that's any other thoughts to add? This is your chance. I, don't know, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure what it would be like, and it's been fun. And I, we're like, yeah, let's take our bikes. <laughs> and you're convinced now. <laughs> you know I mean? It's great. Well, we'll get some better bikes in the future to test so that, and again, no hate, no hate on these bikes. Not They're just all. cheaper bikes. They're they just, are. yeah. And the Milano is, is actually a really, 
it's not fancy, but actually it works well. It's nice. not that heavy. I can take it up the stairs yeah. <laughs> very easily. And I like that the, the, that the Milano has the level of pedal assist, because like, you can get a little workout if you want to. Right. Yeah, it's nice. You can kind of adjust right, it instead right. of on the other one, the Wetseka. It's right, just, just like always on, <laughs> like whether you want it or not. Just use it on the steep pedals. Okay. Well, thanks, you guys. I think that's the, that wraps it up uh, for the full write-up on the bike. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. Of course, sound off with comments. Maybe you have these bikes or some other great suggestions, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Ride safe.